Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is going to be about how to do medical internship in the UK. In the UK, after MBBS, doctors do a two-year foundation program, FY1 and FY2. The FY1 year is equivalent to the internship year in other countries. After FY1, you will receive full GMC registration. If you have not done an internship year, even if you have done PLAB, you will only receive provisional GMC registration. Before I start, I must mention that it is best to come to the UK after you have completed internship. After MBBS, internship and PLAB, you can apply for full GMC registration and work in the UK. You can then apply for FY2 post directly via NHS jobs. Working with a full license is highly recommended, especially if you are an international doctor. The pay and salary you will receive as an FY2 is also much better than an FY1. It is also much easier to apply for FY2 post than it is to apply for the UK Foundation Program. There are limited places available for the UK Foundation Programme and priority will be given to UK graduates and British citizens, so it can be quite competitive. But I do know that there are doctors who really want to do their internship in the UK and I also know that it can be quite difficult to get into an internship programme in your home country. For example, there is a shortage of internship places in Malaysia and many Malaysian medical graduates struggle to get an internship post there after medical school. It is possible to do your internship in the UK if you are an international medical graduate. There is an extra step for IMGs. I will leave a link to the full guidance in the description box so you can check it out too. This video is mainly for international doctors who have graduated from an international medical school outside the UK. Essentially, application to the UK Foundation Programme is a two-part process. If you have graduated from a UK medical school in the last year, you do not need to do part one or submit the eligibility application. You can straight proceed to part two, which is the national application. If you have graduated from an international medical school, you need to do part one, which is send in an eligibility application and part two, send in a national application. So let's start. The first step is to submit an eligibility application to the UK Foundation Programme Office. This is normally done in June. This application is done via the Oriel website. I will leave a link to it down below. To ensure your application is successful, you must meet the following criteria. The first criteria is to have a valid medical degree recognised by the GMC by the start date of the post. The second criteria is to obtain provisional GMC registration by the start date. To gain provisional registration, you need to do PLAB if you have graduated from an international medical school. Do note that you are not eligible to apply for the UK Foundation Programme if you already have or expect to have full registration. The third criteria is to have a written approval from your medical school dean or the dean's representative. The fourth criteria is to meet the English language requirements. This can be demonstrated by providing a valid academic IELTS certificate with a minimum score of 7.5 or you must have confirmation of English language proficiency indicated on the Dean's statement and your medical school must not be included on the GMC's list of institutions that they will not accept evidence from. Do check out the full guidance for this for further clarification. The fifth criteria is the right to work in the UK. As I mentioned earlier, if you do not have the right to work in the UK, your application will only be considered once all the UK graduates and British citizens have been matched to the programs, so it can't be guaranteed that you will get a place. Those are the criteria that you need to meet before you can send in your eligibility application. So what happens next? Once you have submitted your eligibility application, you will receive an outcome sometime in August. 
If you are successful, you can proceed to part two, which is the national application, just like all the UK medical graduates. The national application window opens in September, and you also make the application via the Oriel website. After submitting your national application, two important things will happen. The first one is the clinical assessment. If you have graduated more than two years before the start date, you need to attend a clinical assessment. This is like an OSCE. It takes place in October in Manchester. It will cost around £850. If you are a final year student or graduated within the last two years, you do not need to take the clinical assessment. The second important thing is the Situational Judgment Test or the SJT. All applicants, even UK graduates, need to sit for the SJT. This is done in December. This is not a medical exam. It is more like an aptitude test. Once you have submitted your application and done the SJT, you will receive an outcome in March the next year. That is all for my video today. I hope you found this useful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!